the new Epic S36. We are going to complete this event. So I think I've got enough drills here. Let's see if we can unlock this S36 here. With the... Oh, that's weird. Gotta like go out and go back in. Okay, normal drill. Only 20. Normal drill. There we go. There it is. Chickens. Vengeful clucks. That's funny because there's chickens on it. Wow. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, the S36 Vengeful clucks. Also got Captain Park Ranger because eventually in that event, um, you do get to unlock a new version of him. Um, don't have enough points for that yet. Uh, um, interestingly enough, though, there's he used to just be Park. Um, but then we got this character named Park. And we also have... Uh, let me find him. This guy, Captain. So maybe this Captain Park is like Captain and... Uh, Park's son. It's like the combination of them both or something. We'll pretend that. Anyway, um, let's go into the loadouts here. So, the S36 um, seems to have a lot of recoil. So what I've done is reduce that recoil. Um, I haven't done anything with the damage range. I'm just going to play this, you know, it can get a four shot kill up close, 30 damage. Um, and then a five shot kill. I'm just going to expect to get five shot kills. One thing that's interesting though, I think this is the only gun that has a one damage multiplier everywhere. So literally headshot does the same as a leg shot. So that's something interesting to note. But for this loadout, um, I decreased recoil. Um, you know, we've got the muzzle break, got steady stock for recoil and for bullet spread. Um, another recoil reducer and then the OWC tack laser is always good all of that without reducing ADS time we reduce the ADS movement speed a little bit um, but this is an LMG so I'm not expecting a ton of ADS movement speed and then um, normally when you want ADS bullet spread you throw on the granulated grip tape but since I'm using the rubberized grip tape I used like the secondary bullet spread attachment this tactical foregrip A um, is slightly worse than the granulated grip tape but it still um, decreases the bullet spread so this is what it comes out to here so we got some good recoil reduction with the only significant downside being movement speed which like i said you know it's not a huge deal this is an lmg um, also to help with aiming i've got pinpoint on here and then because we don't have a suppressor i was like well let's try quick fix that's always a solid attachment so I want to take a look at this in the practice range though because it looks like we've got some chickens on here there's that one on the right that looks upset and then the one on the left has got like a speech bubble I'm not sure what it's saying but maybe we'll see it closer in the weapon inspect here's the weapon inspect b i b i don't know i can't tell what it's saying b l u b i don't know if anybody figures it, figures it out, let me know in the comments. So that's what it looks like. You can see the chickens from a different view here. Um, that's a good iron sight. We got that green dot right in the middle there. It's pretty good. I like that. Um, still overall, this gun is not have one of the best iron sights, but it's, all, it's also not terrible. Um, anyway, this is the recoil pattern without me controlling anything. So I've reduced it so it's mostly vertical, so that's nice. Um, and then I didn't equip any ammo on here just because, like, you know, a lot of the LMGs get 100, but 60 is also plenty for Team Deathmatch or Frontline, so we should be good there. Let's go try it. Hey, I really hope we get firing range. Yes. Let's do this. I haven't used the S36 in a while. Oh, somebody's got a mythic? Wait, what? Oh, I guess they only dropped one and I didn't get it. 
but I haven't used the S36 in a while, so let's see how this does. Oh, look at that. Free double kill. Clean it up for my teammate there. Great way to start off. Somebody's up here, so... Oh! Oh, that was a... Wow. Pistol with a scope. Pistol sniping. Interesting. Alright then. It looks like somebody might be over here because I see that death marker. So we'll play it slow around the corner. And now there's nobody on this side of the map by me, so... Oh! Tip for the enemy. There's somebody else. Yes! Look at that. We even got some long range action in here. Oh man. Maybe I did need that extended mag. Wasn't expecting to need it. But it looks like my team's got that part handled, so let's go somewhere else. Oh, hello. Okay, did that person have an S36? Yeah, they did. Look at that. I wonder if that was mine. I don't see anybody up here, so... Oh, hey! Surprised me there with a... I think that's a shotgun. I think that's a KRM. Oh, hey, take you out. Look at that. Fast fire rate. You can just kind of, oh, they're all around the corner here. I got ambushed from both sides. Yeah, they do have it. That's not mine, though. That looks like maybe that was the default, what it came equipped with. So far, this is feeling like a good gunsmith. I definitely like that iron sight. Um, yeah, I'll throw a trip mine up there. I don't want to play the top of the building right now, but look at that. Got such a fast fire rate, I can compete with all the SMGs. I can't move like an SMG, but I'm surprised that guy didn't get me. Hit a Fennec, after all. But 75 fire rate, 4 shot kill up close. Tough to beat that. I mean, you can beat it, but it's tough to beat. And it's any part of the body, too. 30s to everywhere, so... Very strong close range if you can get ADS before the um, for your opponent. There's a trip mine here, so let's take that out. Um, so my teammate didn't run in there and trigger it. Oh! That guy slid right under me. That's the downside of this iron sight. You don't have... Oh, I thought that was an enemy. You don't have that visibility as good as you would with the red dot sight. Thankfully my teammate was distracting that guy. He's just sniping out in the middle of the walkway here. Seems kind of weird. Okay, looks like there's stuff. Maybe we can take out this guy. Oh! Wow, it's like he heard me coming or something. Pre-fired me. But they're still down here, so I'm gonna come back and play this walkway. Take out... There we go. One... Nope. Couldn't get the two. That was on me. That was all my lack of recoil control. Which is, you know, why I built it out for recoil control. Because without that, it'd be even worse. Somebody's in here. Oh, I just saw the death effect from... That was the Mythic Kilo 141. So I know my teammate took that guy out. Ah! I can't see anything. Counter UAV. No, I used to not care about counter UAVs, but I actually look at the map now, so Watch out. it makes Enemy it a lot harder for me to play. Deploy. And now I don't know where that laser is. Oh, it's over here. Keep okay. We're going to reposition. I don't need to be trying to keep track of that laser. So, let's try over here. We haven't done much over here yet. Enemy oh, down. there is an enemy. Two enemies. Oh, okay. So that is it. That was probably the guy that did the mythic share with that Kilo 141 over there. But let's see if we can at least provide cover fire for my teammates. Oh man, they're all dying here. So I don't think that guy saw me. We'll get a little reload and try again. Oh, nice! Wall assist right through the target. That target dummy, I like it. It's one of the benefits of the LMGs. They get good wall penetration. Oh, that guy. Okay. Gravity spikes. I was like, he just disappeared. What is going on here? Am I lagging? And we're going to run away from the hunter killer drone. I was the only person anywhere remotely near it. Let that pass. 
And I saw a helicopter, so maybe somebody just dropped an air um, uh, care package up here. So I'll see if there's an enemy. Oh, they even got a napalm. Wow. We should be able to pull this off, though. We just need one more. Oh, we do. All right. Good. I think that's a close one, though. Yeah, so Kilo one for one guy got the MVP. That's fine. I still got 71, though. That's a pretty good score, I think. It's got to be, like, at least a two-kill death ratio. So we did pretty good. Um, didn't do so well super long range. I'd probably want to sight for that. But this gun just has, like, so much weird recoil that you have you almost have to build it out for recoil control and then there's nothing left to build it out for long range but hey 13 and 6 that's pretty good that was the match once again here is the loadout uh didn't feel so great long range which i guess is okay because i didn't build this out for super long range but once i locked onto the enemies this thing still with the high fire rate really it's a good kill and we got a little bit of um, some bullet penetration kills, so that kind of surprised me, but that was fun to see. So, I recommend, oh, that's not what I wanted, this one. I recommend getting this one. It's got a good iron sight with that green dot in the middle. And once again, if you know what these chickens are saying, please let me know in the comments, because I'm curious. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Enemy down! Reloading! Get down! It's too close. Fight harder. Contact with me! Tango down! It's too close. Fight harder. 